Hey guys, my name is Evo and you are watching TechnoRide. What's going on guys? Welcome to TechnoRide where technology is done right. So today I'm going to teach you a way to fix your problem where it requires administ administrator access to install a software which is which can be really really annoying guys if you really need the software so in my case here i have the driver internet uh, the driver for my internet dongle here and when okay so you can see this is the app and i'm going to click on install agree okay and you can see this pop up pops up where it says and an administrator has blocked you from running this app. For more information, contact the administrator. So we have to let this thing know, the uh, laptop or the desktop know that we are the actual administrator. For that, we need to get into the administrator's account. How do we do that? It's pretty simple actually. So you're gonna go to the search bar, click on type in CMD to open the command prompt, but right click it and click on run as administrator click on yes and it should open where you have administrator access if you don't click run as administrator you will get an error of there saying that uh, access is denied and all that so you have to run it as administrator and then you're going to use this uh, command which is which says net user administrator space forward slash active colon yes so I'll put this down in the link below if you want it. So it's easier for you, you can just copy and paste it. And then once you've done that, it should say comment completed successfully. So what I'm going to do now is now I would not have access to the recording software because it's just going to crash because I'm going to log out of this uh, user account and enter the administrator account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my uh, video camera, but it will be a kind of cringy guys i'm so sorry about that but we ha i just have to show you okay so we're going to close this okay guys so um now we are in the video camera i'm sorry everything looks kind of small here so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your windows start button okay and then you can see a little human right here okay you're going to click on that okay no that's not it okay yes okay this is it so you're going to click on this little human icon right here where it, where it says your PC's name. So in my case, it says user PC. I'm going to click on that and it, it should say sign out, change your account settings, unlock. So you're going to sign out. Okay, it should say signing out. And you should get into here. So the moment you press enter, you'll get two accounts at the bottom okay, you can see here administrator account and your normal user pc account so you're going to go down click on the administrator account and you're going to click on sign in okay so now if you have you are if you are doing this the first time you will have uh, like a new setup screen where it says hi there and we're getting ready things ready for you so you will go through that process, but if you have already uh, accessed this account before, uh, it should continue from where you left off. Okay, so now I would recommend you to get that um, file, that US, uh, that uh, software into a USB flash drive because as soon as you go into the administrator account, it will be like a new PC and you wouldn't have your files there. So in my case, I have my... Uh, let me just plug that in I have my hard drive here external hard disk with the file on it okay give me a sec okay local disk F let me open the view files and I should have the files where is it okay right here okay so I'm going to run auto run and theoretically it should work install here agree There, you can see it's already uh, entered the setup so 
basically what you're going to do is you're going to install it here and you're going to go back to that account and you should have the driver already installed or the software already installed in your PC uh, in that normal account. So if you have any problem, just go into that uh, normal account back and yeah, pretty much just uh, type in the command net user administrator forward slash active colon yes or the if you want to turn that account off you don't want to see the administrator you can retype in this a full command again and then you can uh, at the end instead of the yes put no and that uh, administrator account will disappear so basically that's it guys if you have any other problems throughout this uh, whole video or throughout this whole process please put them down in the comments below so i can get back to you as soon as possible and help you out with your problem so i think that's about it guys so thanks for watching and hope i helped you this is me signing out please rate comment and subscribe and i'm out